Season 9 of Drake's Migration Nation is powered by Hydra Trek. Powerful, rugged, amphibious vehicles. Rio Ammunition. Share the experience. Higdon Outdoors. Get real. Boss Drives. Take charge. Realtree. Family, friends, and the outdoors. And by Drake Waterfowl Systems. Innovators in waterfowl hunting. All right, back for season number nine. I even put a couple extra wraps on before I headed north. We're good to go. All right, we're boat hunting for Eider right here in the ocean, just a little bit north of Boston with Randy Drago of Codfather Guide Service. My, uh, we're in, uh, this is the second year of the reduced 107 day sea duck season, only 60 days. I'm done my guiding in Maryland. I got in 58 days this year and uh, we don't have Eider, so I wanted to head north, travel north here, get a chance to jump in the boat with Randy and see if we can connect with some prime trophy Drake Eider. Maybe we'll see a king too. I wanted to shoot it, but I'm not going to. So once the sun comes up and hits the decoys, the white from the drakes will be like a billboard. They'll shine. This low light condition, they kind of almost blend in. We've dealt with two days of inclement weather. Yesterday it really, really poured. So today is our first day. We do not have rain. Uh, dealing with a little bit of a, a west breeze uh, and a pretty good little ocean swell coming from the, uh, I guess it would be the southeast. So um, the boat is rocking and rolling. Should make some challenging shooting. Sea ducks typically do not fly more than 10 feet off the water. They're pretty, pretty low flying birds. So sometimes it's tough to see them when they're coming across the bay or water. Uh, not like scoters. Scoters tend to fly a little bit higher. Uh, Eiders, they're a lot more wearier. Uh, so having a boat out here moving around and stuff, they're picking it out. You can't really sit out in the middle unless you get a layout boat. So you need a backdrop to kind of hide you. And being with the swell this morning, you can't get as tight as I want to next to the rocks. So the birds are starting to like kind of key in on us and shy away. So it's one of the battles we're facing today. We're dealing with the big swell. The wind's not really cooperating. The sun's kind of in our face. The birds are flying by, and nothing's really decoying. But single on the bow. Right here, Jeff. Oh, I got you right under the sun. This one hen decoys, and normally I don't shoot hens, but in my four eider limit, I am allowed one hen, and something told me that I should take her. Nice shot. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're on the board. Would you look at that, Jeff? Bam! Ah! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> I can say truly my first official eider band. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> this was a really good start for us, and it showed us exactly what we would be doing the rest of the week. All right, man, we're done. Let's go. With the small craft advisory that was about to kick in, Randy thought we should pick up pack up and go find something better to do. To keep up with all the hunting action, check us out on the web.